Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. I am back and I'm going to do a 12 by 12 canvas today and um, something smaller than what I'm used to. I've done a couple others um, that you may or may not have seen. Just trying out some just smaller canvases for people who have asked about, you know, maybe smaller walls like for a bathroom. Um, something that you might want to just give a little pop of color in a smaller wall. So I'm here today to possibly either inspire others to um, do the same or if you are interested in any of these that I am painting, they will be listed on my website at www.tinasinspiredart.com and I will be posting on my social media as well. So let's get started. I'm going to start with, on this 12 by 12 canvas, with a, an interior house paint. It's white, a bright white. And um, yeah, it's my, my normal color place brand that I've been using that I purchased at Walmart. So this is a brand new can that I opened. I do see it's got a couple of bubbles already pop into the surface because I did have to give it a nice stir. But um, yeah, I'm going to flood my canvas, put you on fast forward, cover my sides, and then we'll come back and do this really pretty design. Hey guys, I'm back. We have flooded the canvas, covered my sides. I've popped bubbles. Uh, paintings I have been doing lately, I've been using this, this um, silver gray color. And now today on this one, I'm using this bright white. And while it probably doesn't show a big difference on camera, um, I've got the sun shining in behind me because I have a window behind me and um, it's super bright on my eyes. So uh, at least I'm not on camera squinting. I'm showing you the painting. So today there's no FaceTime of me, only the painting. <laughs> I think tomorrow when I pop on, I'm going to be showing you uh, dried results of a couple of my paintings I've done recently. So I'll be back on to pop on tomorrow. I'm going to give it one more swipe. Sorry about that. I, it's a brand new can and I mixed it up. It's got lots of those little bubbles. Little pesky things. Come on, there's a couple of them that are saying peekaboo. All right, now I think we're ready. All right, I think I have the design in mind. So let's get started before I forget. <laughs> Sometimes I think about my design and I get ready to do it and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I don't remember what I was going to do, so hold that thought, Tina. I'm going to get going. I'll start about maybe right here with the black. We'll come down. Not all the way to the corner. Then about right there, we're going to come up this way. And then that way. These little canvases make you think a little bit harder for these kind of designs that I do. And just so you're not, I want to have my negative space, so I want to make sure that I'm not adding too much of the design. 
so it will get out of control. A little bit more of the black. I feel like sometimes it gets lost and I really want it to kind of give me an outline and make it pop. I'm going to now go in with, well, I was going to do a transition, but maybe I'm not going to do a transition. <laughs> not with this one, the way my design ended up. But I think it'll look good. I have black, silver, and I think I'm going to pop in some purple. I'm going to go with like some purple. So let me go grab, yeah, these purples. Just for a little purple on. Add a little color to this little canvas here. And a couple of something in my paint. All right, so now we'll go with the purple. <laughs> I think this is a Liquitex Deep Violet and then an Arteza uh, Pearl Royal Purple. I mean, purple always goes good with black and silver. speck out of there. Speck out of there. There's a little bubble. All right, I think we are about ready to blow this one out. Um, okay. Maybe... Yeah, sorry about that. A little chaotic today, aren't I? I'm gonna add in a touch of this Payne's Gray from Pivio on top of this. Just a little bit of that. And yeah, I think that's it. We will start this one and see how it goes. Okay, I think I'm ready to blow this one out. Okay. I'm going to start right in here. piece of something landed in there. beautiful. I'm still questioning the design, um, but I think I can make it work. 
So yeah, I think I can work with it. Let's uh, hang tight guys. We're gonna do my signature style to this one and then we'll take you down for a closer look. All right, I think today I am going to start kind of right in this area with my signature design. Make a little swirl about right here. This is to help me with a little focal point. And then maybe I can bring everything in to that direction to make it work better. I think right now it's lacking some, some composition. I mean, it has good composition, but I think it needs more quite honestly. This is, I think, where the art really comes in in fluid art is being able to do more with the paint than just wherever it lies. For me, it helps to give it more structure and definition. So this is just my own thinking, my own way of doing it something that I created to enhance my paintings of working with fluid art. I love the freedom that it gives you, but then I also like to give it a little more control with doing this piece of it. If you see something in your painting that you don't care for, I just stick the end of my paintbrush in there and grab it. Seems to work nicely. Sometimes better than my finger because this morning I had too much coffee and I felt a bit shaky. But yeah, I think it's already getting some design. This is when I get happy to see that it's, it is actually working. And I can manipulate it to make it look that much prettier. This one down like this. Sometimes I have to figure out, okay, how is that going to work? <laughs> it all kind of ends up looking like leaves or you know petals of flowers. And who doesn't love flowers? Who doesn't love receiving flowers? <laughs> Did you get flowers for Valentine's? I got flowers for my birthday, which my birthday comes a week before Valentine's, so I just had a birthday. I had a nice birthday. Birthdays are not about what you get. It's about spending time with those you, people that you care about. And that's what I did. But I did get 
Actually, I really did get a really nice, nice gift from my daughter. It was so sweet. She surprised me and took me out for an entire afternoon of going to, into town and getting our hair done. It was called Blow and Glow. And we got our hair done. And while we got our hair done, we sipped on some wine. We had a really nice time there. And after that, we went to this little place where you can pick out a plant and a pot and go upstairs and enjoy a drink if you want and plant it in the pot you've chosen. So that was pretty cool. They have all kinds of plants and all kinds of um, different options you can choose from. We did that and then after that, we went to a local coffee shop and had a nice cup of coffee and sat down with the sun beating on us and just enjoyed some conversation. And then uh, we ended up going home and playing cards. And so yeah, it was a really nice, nice day. All right, I think what I've got here is looking quite pretty. I'm going to take you down for a closer look and see what you guys think, but I think she's pretty. Okay, guys, here we go. Look at how pretty those colors ended up by blending together. I mean, you just can't go wrong with those violet purples and well, that deep, um, it's kind of a blue gray, but it's called Payne's gray. And with the black silver underneath, I mean, I think she's pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit more manipulating and then I'll be done. So thanks again for joining me today, guys. I hope you like this little one, little 12 by 12. I think she's really pretty. I think she would bring a lot of color to maybe a little bathroom that you have. Maybe a girl's room, a granddaughter's room. I think she's super pretty. Looking very delicate flower-like, but not a flower, so a little abstract-looking flower, but yeah, check me out on my website, www.tinasinspiredart.com. Check me out, of course, on my social media, Tina's Inspired Art, and until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye for now.